All right, welcome back to the channel. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. Today we're going to continue an Amazon review on the Discovery Propulsion Rocket. So this looks like a pretty fun set. I got sidekick number one, sidekick number two out here, plus the dogs running around. So we're going to try our best at doing this set here. So that does say ages 12 and up. All right, we're going to have some adult supervision here. Sidekick is almost five so i think this thing's gonna be a pretty cool little project though so let's get it out of the box and check and see what we got here i disabled the audio on this portion of the video because our dog barked constantly the whole time we were getting this out and, and playing outside so everything in the box comes in a nice little plastic tray you've got the fins there sidekicks messing with the nose cone you've got a round base and of course the body of the rocket and a couple other pieces that we'll explain in a minute inside the box is also a collectible poster from discovery channel the instructions are very simple and straightforward it lists the parts very well uh, diagrams and whatnot uh, it also comes with stickers to decorate the rocket one thing i noticed is that amazon post said that it needed citric acid and basic baking soda anybody that went to elementary school in america knows that it's vinegar and baking soda that makes a reaction so the measurement for it was a little bit odd seven eighths of a cup Somewhere in the instructions, it converts that to milliliters, but we didn't have a measuring instrument to measure out that many milliliters, so we just eyeballed it. Okay, we've got the, uh, I can't remember what this thing's called. So this tube that goes in the middle of it, and you've got a stopper, we've got these two things. It also came with some stickers. Next step is to decorate the rocket. So we're gonna do that next and then move on to something else. Okay, so the next step is to uh, take your centerpiece here, fill it with baking soda, and put the top back on. Baking soda boxes are not the perfect thing for this device, so um, so I did the best I could. It made a little bit of a mess. That's why we're outside here. So the next step reads. Oh, if I looked at the whole paper. Uh, fill with baking soda, make sure to fill it all the way to the top, add the plug, pour 7 eighths of a cup of vinegar into your rocket. I don't have a measuring cup, so we're going to eyeball that. Quickly insert the reaction tube into the rocket. Eyeball that me. Make sure the stopper eyeball that me. is inserted Which tightly eyeball the body. Which eyeball that I'm just going to guess. So that's the way we're going to do it. So let's get the rocket eyeball. and get in the base. Okay, so it looks like basically the way this thing is going to work. You've got your base, the rocket has a hole in the end, and this is going to sit down in here. And you're going to spill baking soda everywhere, you're going to fill this with vinegar. Set the rocket on top of there, it's going to shoot up. So. <laughs> I 
I display three launches of the rocket here. Um, I think that our failures at the first two, we, tr we had several attempts, but I think the failures at the first two or the lack of, of a positive result was had a lot to do with the measurement of the baking soda and vinegar. The baking soda is pretty straightforward, but the vinegar, if you measure it exactly, then you'll probably come up with a pretty successful launch. We had to mess around with it a little bit here because I just guessed at the measurements. I didn't have a 210 milliliter measuring device to portion out the vinegar correctly.